It's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between meringue-based buttercreams and American buttercream. If you've ever wondered why people use one over the other, then this is the video for you, because I'm going to talk to you about when I like to use which type. Firstly, we're going to fix that fail. So I had a viewer try my Italian meringue buttercream recipe, which I am going to leave right in the description box below. Now, looking at this, she had a lot of crystallization happening in her pan. Now, this can usually happen for two reasons. One of them being that you're stirring the sugar and the water. Whenever I put the sugar and water mixture on the stove, I just let it rest and disintegrate all on its own. I do not try to incorporate that sugar at all. The other thing that needs to be done is you need to make sure that you use cold water and not warm water. This crystallization and hardening of sugar can also happen if you don't pour your sugar in a steady stream, because what's ending up happening if you pour it little by little is you're allowing that sugar to re-harden. Another issue that my viewer had was that her buttercream was just a little too buttery tasting, and it also had kind of a buttery consistency. The reason that this happens is because you're not mixing the mixture enough, so you really need to whip it up for a long time. I like to whip my meringue buttercream for about 10 minutes or so. Now, I'm not going to be showing you the Swiss meringue buttercream technique only because it's a very similar technique. The only difference is that you heat the sugar on the stove with the egg whites, and then you whip it together with the butter after that. I just find the Italian meringue buttercream a lot easier for myself. One final note about Italian meringue buttercream is that I always use cold butter from the fridge. The reason is whenever I use room temperature butter, it always goes too soupy and then I have to wait for it to set up. This is the very first time I am making American buttercream on this channel. Now making American buttercream is really easy. All you have to do is start with room temperature butter, and then you're going to add some icing sugar and water. Now, the tricky thing about American buttercream is that there's no particular recipe per se. I always just kind of go off of the texture that I want. Do I want it to be thicker and harder? Then I'm going to use more icing sugar. Do I want it to be more buttery and light? Then more butter. It's also about finding that balance of how much water that you would like to add as well. You'll notice that with my American buttercream, I'm using a paddle attachment as opposed to my whisk attachment. This is because the paddle attachment will incorporate less air. The more air that we incorporate into this American buttercream, the more bubbles it's going to leave if we were to ice a cake or frost a cupcake. I will admit that I'm a little bit out of practice when it comes to making American buttercream, so my buttercream doesn't turn out as nicely whipped as I would like, but it's still pipeable and it still tastes good. A lot of people prefer American buttercream because there's less precision in the recipe itself. It's also a great eggless alternative. Overall, your preference for using American buttercream or meringue-based buttercream is pretty much based on taste, but we are going to look at how these buttercreams perform. I've mentioned this several times that crumb coating a cake with American buttercream is a lot easier. Now notice when I swipe it through this first time, it's a little bit grainy, but when I heat up that bench scraper, I'm able to swipe through and make it completely smooth with no bubbles. Let's take a look at how this pipes. I'm just attaching a little pedal tip. It's kind of a straight pedal tip, this one. And then I'm going to pipe a little design. In my opinion, this actually holds up really nicely and piping it is quite satisfying because there's a little bit of pressure against you, but not too much. Now, because I didn't incorporate too much air by using that paddle attachment, this is actually turning out really nicely. The petals are staying nice and smooth and rounded instead of jagged. The American buttercream is also layering quite nicely. I'm noticing with this beaded border that it is a little bit more obvious that the American buttercream is slightly grainy. Whenever I'm writing, I'm always dropping down my letters. I'm not allowing my piping bag to actually drag through the buttercream. And because this buttercream is a little bit thicker and it's not as light and fluffy, I am noticing a little bit more tension on the bag as I am piping. I'm also not really a fan of the way the buttercream is kind of clumping up as I try to make my writing thicker and thinner in consistency. 
I think my buttercream could have used a little bit more whipping time as that would make this a little bit more white. As I'm piping this, it's a little bit more satisfying than when I used the American buttercream. Both perform very, very similarly though. As you can see as well, using my Italian meringue buttercream, the surface is a lot shinier than that of the American buttercream. It just has a really beautiful sheen to it, but this is not always necessary in all cake decorating. When I'm using this smaller tip, I can really, really feel the pros of the Italian meringue buttercream. Since it's so much smoother, it's a lot easier for me to do little details like that beaded border and the writing is dropping down a lot faster. And see how that smooths together when I try to make that writing a little bit thicker. It just has a really, really nice, smooth texture to it. Personally, for me, when I see this little cupcake swirl, it looks a lot more appealing. One final swipe test. As you can see, my American buttercream is not nearly as smooth as my Italian meringue buttercream without any heating. Overall, American buttercream is definitely great if you're in a hurry and you need to whip up your icing quickly and if you don't want to use any eggs. But I personally still like using my Italian meringue buttercream for most things. However, it's really about what type of mediums that you like to work with and what consistency works for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of this sweetie fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to submit a fail, and your fail could be fixed by next Friday. Bye!